I'm working on the uh, bicuspid. Uh, this is the second round. I got a fair amount last night. I'm working on it now. And uh, there's a ridge behind the bicuspid. I'm starting to get to the deeper layers. Let's check out the batch so far. If you look at this, you can see there's a there's a lot of stuff there. I see roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I would say a good fifteen major blobs plus dozens of smaller areas. And this is all from behind one tooth. You can see it's a lot of stuff, but it's so significant. This is a good strategy. I'm coming around from the back and I'm rolling up a, a very deep ridge on the back of the bicuspid. Okay, that's pretty major. You know, maybe just has to come out a little bit at a time. Maybe, maybe that's the only solution. Uh, but there's definitely a ridge there. If I get another ridge, more ridge. But if so, if I get that, you know, certainly that would be good. Right there, that's the ridge right there. So let's see something. Maybe I can come in and get it at the right angle. Yeah. And then once it gives up and it's clean, then you can move the curette around in the area. So you're, you know, you pretty much did it. Huh. That looked pretty significant. Yeah, it's a lot, <clears throat> a lot of stuff. Whatever that was, I, I, I managed to, to break something of, of merit. Okay, let's try that again. more serious stuff. Okay, so I'm definitely on to something here. So I come, I'm coming around from the back and then I'm uh, trying to get under the ridge and I'm going up so when it pulls it uh, when it pulls it uh, doesn't cut anything up. Okay. There. That's a lot of stuff. So this is a good strategy. Do that some more. Okay. <clears throat> I 
actually good. There. Broke another ridge. So normally, like I said, I'm not really, I don't really like to get too brutal. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. See, in this case, I'm getting a lot of, a lot of stuff here. So, you know, the brutality, the violence is, is uh, paying off. And then since I'm, so what I'm doing is I'm, is I'm pulling down with my jaw. Uh, I'm doing everything I can not to slice it up. But, you know, I'm naturally creating a, you know, a, a pretty violent jerking motion. So anything that's in the way of this, this knife here is going to get cut. And hopefully it's just going to be air. So it won't be anything, uh, it won't be me. Find out again. There, same thing. Okay, let's take another look just to give you an idea here. If you look there, you can see there's a giant, I don't know what it is, but it's really, really big. Okay, so um, here's the deal. The deal is, is that there's a ridge that's behind the bicuspid, and the ridge is fairly deep. And then what I'm able to do is I'm able to do two things. One is I'm able to roll the ridge up from the back. The other thing is I'm able to come in at a, this seems to be the key here, I'm able to come in at a uh, you know, fairly flat angle, get the curette underneath the ridge, and then um, get you know very brutal where I, I, I pull down on the jaw, use my jaw as the is the is the force creator and then snap the thing off and then you know it's more than just a little it's a lot but once it gets reduced significantly then the remnants are easier to get to so uh, I want to go for the bulk to start and then uh, later I can clean up what's left but if I never get to that part then it's you know then, then nothing's really happening because you can see there's so much stuff there that a small amount compared to that is not that, uh, doesn't really accomplish that much. Okay. Just keep going for big stuff. Okay. There. So you can see, you know, if there was um you know gum there instead of air, you know, I, I just would have sliced that thing up. Oh, that's what would have happened. 